Hello everyone, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. How are we all today, wherever you are in the world when you're watching, a huge shout out to you. I'm wanting to do tarot scopes, uh, to focus on tarot scopes today. I will start with Sagittarius. I'm using my Accurate Tarot. Uh, I'll put these in the link. Um, by This is an indie deck, um, Accurate Tarot, um, and also my Light Seers Tarot. So, oh, something's jumped right out there, and I haven't even said what sign I'm doing, uh, but I've got the Seven of Cups, and I have Speculation and Opportunity. Okay, whoever that message is meant for. Let's start with Sagittarius. Okay, Sagittarius for the month of March. Show me the overarching uh, issues or challenges or opportunities. And then we'll drill down with a Celtic cross. So show me what's coming up uh, for Sagittarius. Um, so I'm getting like the Warner Brothers uh, logo. Um, so something, uh, something could uh, bring you into prominence in March in some way. Can be some uh, dream of yours can be start to materialize as well. Sagittarius, what's coming up? For Sagittarians in March, yeah, this is going to be. Uh, it could even be something as simple as a trip, a trip, because I'm actually seeing that movement, um, moving forward, uh, not being stuck so much, uh, leaving the past behind. There's movement happening in March for some Sagittarians. Now I have the Ace of Swords, breakthrough and mental focus, and this could be what the the movement is all about. It's like you are breaking through that stagnant type of energy that has kept you or held you in the one place. And of course, Sagittarians need that forward movement. They're a fire sign, immutable fire sign. And they need to learn. They need to keep learning. But this is around some kind, something will shift and I'm just thinking in the thought patterns as well, because air is all about um, is all about communication. It's all about what we think, what we speak. Mental focus and breakthrough. If you've been struggling with something to get started on something, March might be the month where you you have that breakthrough. Resolution and moving on. This is the Six of Swords. I just absolutely love it. When spirit has that kind of message, um, when I see the card before I pull it clairvoyantly, and this is this movement. These are beautiful cards, and they are six of swords, ace of swords. It's it's this air energy in your thoughts, perhaps having a breakthrough, knuckling down, doing what, doing that project that you've been putting putting off, physically taking a trip, and we have. Uh, the Hierophant, spirituality and knowledge. You have a breakthrough coming, Sagittarius, in March. You have a breakthrough. You have movement. So if you've been feeling stuck, take heart. They're pre that's a pretty strong message. Um, you, there's no other way to interpret that. Uh, now we have uh, the, th the Five of Cups. In this deck, it's around dwelling and, and avoidance. Dwelling, this is the energy at the base of the pack. So what is really the conditions around the questions that, that we're going to ask? If you've been dwelling on something, if you've been avoiding something, something is going to shift for you. And I have the moon card intuition and illusion and that focus that mental focus could be uh it's like your emotions will start to heal something is coming up from the surface breaking the surface and coming into very clear view so you're getting clarity not illusion in march and we have the six of coins, generos generosity and, and assistance. You could be both giving and receiving. And this could, could be around also um, 
you know, not seeing clearly uh, what you have to be grateful for. Because I feel that some of you have actually been assisted in ways that will become clear to you in March. Okay, so I'm going to pull a Celtic cross now. I'm going to bring the laptop down and we're going to take a look at Sagittarius. Sagittarius in March. Sagittarius. It's coming up for Sagittarius in March. Show me Sagittarius. Okay. The Six of Cups, higher self, past, nostalgia. Could it sometimes even be wishing for things that are in the past? Sometimes when we're dwelling, when we're in that Five of Cups space, it's like we're dwelling on the past. We're dwelling on things that, you know, that we, that have gone, cycles that have ended, people that have, you know, left our lives, cycles that um, we look back nostalgically on them. There's something around the past for you in March. Look at what's at the base of the pack, the Six of Swords. The other aspect of Six of Swords is healing. You're healing something in the past, Sagittarius. Challenging that, we have the King of Pentacles. Uh, I'm noticing the wolf sitting next to, or dog, I think it's a wolf, sitting next to the King of Pentacles. It's like the King is absolutely secure. He's secure, or she Kings don't necessarily have to be, or in the tarot, ha, ha, that they don't, they're not exclusively a male energy. They can be female as well, feminine and masculine. So there's something around the past to do with your security. It could be even be around money, that you've been insecure around money. And so you cling to things that are better left in the past. Let's see what else is going on. The Queen of Cups nurturing in the, is the foundation of the reading. And I was told this myself by a very wise lady. And it's something I pass on whenever I see the need. That if you don't have self-care, self-love... You really, uh, it's the starting point of everything is the self. The divinity within the self. The evolution of the self. The self-knowledge. is That's where you start. Know thyself. The Queen of Cups. There's a nurturing, nurturing the emotions. So I'm getting uh, the shift that you're going to get in March is around a shift in the emotions. So uh, as I pointed out to someone the other day, a Gemini actually, that communication is not just the spoken word. It can be inner communications as well. How you are communicating emotionally. So there is a truth that has come forward uh, or that will come forward or has come forward, which allows you forward motion. Let's see what's in the sky here. The Page of Cups, an offer of love, an apology even, a truce. Something being revealed to you that you didn't know before. Is this this event of magnitude that's going to allow you greater clarity? The Seven of Wands, standing your ground, the ending of illusion. Doesn't matter what is thrown at you. You're in that bubble of self-nurturing. Of course, if you're when you nurture yourself, you're validating your own self-worth. You're giving as much to yourself as you give to others. You, you're saying, I'm worthy of your care and attention. The King of Swords, here we go. I think that came up before, didn't it? The Ace of Swords and then there's a lot of air energy. This is healing of the thoughts. This is breakthroughs around repetitive 
thinking, repetitive worry, sword energy. Of course, we have the, the major planets, Jupiter, Saturn, in Aquarius, Pluto is still sitting in Capricorn. But air energy is uh, a big theme of this reading. Jupiter is your ruler. You're finally getting on top of the energy that had you or the events of the past that had you literally sitting in the corner. And for some in the fetal position. This is clarity. This is what you're getting in March, Sagittarius. Something is ending in the hopes and fears. You want it to end. You want something new to begin. You're finally putting to bed that past issue that caused you so much, so much heartache and grief. You're not dwelling anymore. The Five of Wands. Be aware that, I guess for some Sagittarians, I mean, you know, literally they're skipping through the tulips, failing to see that other people may be quite envious of them. It's time to see clearly who you can trust and who you can't trust and the reasons why because that will stop this self-care <laughs> acknowledging your own wor worth will stop others taking from you the moon a very deep dive into all of this that's what's clarifying it competitiveness a lot of Sagittarians don't understand competitiveness because they're sharing by nature. They have a brilliant idea on what they think is a brilliant idea. They want to share it with everybody. And they don't understand when uh, there are people there that's thinking, well, she's a bit full of herself. What? Me? I just want to share. <laughs> okay, you're starting to put the pieces together. And the Six of Pentacles came up uh, very strongly in that first pull as well. You could receive an offer. You could receive an offer of help. You could even receive money in March. There could even be a small win of some sort. It's not a major win. But somebody, and this can, you know, whether it's to do with money or not, somebody is going to offer to help you in some way. And that's the other thing. About Sagittarians, Jupiter being their ruler, Jupiter, of course, you know, can bring that wheel of fortune energy to you, that luck. So clarity around the self is a big theme for March for Sagittarians. And as a result, our Six of Swords brings with it uh, this healing and movement forward and movement out of those troubled emotions and you're getting help you're getting help in March in some way as well so watch out for that helping hand all right Sagittarius thank you for joining me for uh, Terrascopes for the month of March <music>